Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. This is Amy Jo, and today I'm going to be showing you the So Cool Glitter Deluxe Sewing Studio. Here's what comes in the box. The sewing machine, lots of fabric, pre-cut projects, little pre-cut pieces to decorate the things that we make, fabric that is cut so we can use it for straps, stuffing, buttons, 16 different patterns for all the different things we can make, and an instruction manual. For our first project, we're gonna make this adorable stuffed kitty cat. On the back of the fabric, there are some symbols. The plus sign means that we need to add a spot stitch to hold it together. The number one means that this is where we start, and number two is where we stop. The little arrow means that this is the direction that we sew. The first thing that we need to do is add the spot stitch. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. So we're going to turn the sewing machine on and then we're going to place the little plus sign right under here and press the purple button. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that seemed to work. I'm not sure what happened there, but it worked, so now we can sew. Now, before we sew it together, I wanna show you this because it's pretty cool. See the little pink thread in there? Isn't that neat? Seems kinda magical. I'm not sure how this little sewing machine did that. Okay, now for the next part. We're gonna start at the number one and sew all the way around. I wanna pause right here to show you guys something. One thing that's really neat when you're feeding it around these curves is that you can't accidentally get your fingers in there and get hurt, so <laughs> that's really nice because this thing is moving kind of fast. Okay, here we go. We're back at the number two, so we're finished with the sewing for right now, and we're gonna add the stuffing. Remember how we sewed from number one all the way over to number two? We left the bottom part open so that we could stuff some stuffing into the kitty cat. After we finish stuffing it, we will sew the very bottom closed, and then we'll be done. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Let's take a closer look at our little kitty cat. Aw, that turned out pretty cute. There's just one last step. We're going to use a button to add a little bow tie <laughs> to our kitty cat. So, as you can see, there's a little hole right here. We're gonna feed the button into the hole and there's also a little hole right on the front of the kitty cat. And now it's all set. Our kitty cat has a little bow tie. Isn't that sweet? It's really soft. It's like a little pillow. For our next project, we are going to make an eyeglasses case. I think this might be a little more complicated. So the first thing that we have to do is pop the pattern out of the piece of paper. You guys, so far I have to say that I really like this. These are the two patterns that we are going to be using. These are the two different fabrics that we're going to use. Take the pattern and place it on the inside of the fabric and then we're gonna trace around the pattern with a marker. Next, we will cut the two pieces for the pattern that we need for the glass case out of the larger piece of the fabric. Next, we'll line up our two fabric pieces and you want the white part to be facing out and after it's all lined up, we're gonna do little spot stitches to hold everything in place. <laughs> After the spot stitches are done, 
We can sew the rest of our eyeglass case together. We're gonna start here and work our way down and around. And after you sew it all the way around the edging, you turn it inside out, and there is your eyeglass case. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> it definitely looks cute like this, but it looks even cuter with this. So let's stitch this on to the front of the little pouch. So the needle running over the heart like that kind of made it fuzzy looking. I still think it's cute, but I wasn't expecting that to happen. For our last project for this video, we're gonna make a little handbag. This is one of the pre-cut patterns that comes with this little set. And the first thing that we need to do is flip the fabric inside out. We're gonna be sewing on this side, so then when we flip it over, we have a nice clean seam. And just like with our other projects, we are going to be doing some spot stitches to hold everything in place before we sew. Now that we've completed the spot stitches, we are going to begin sewing here and working our way down. There is our little handbag. Next, we're going to add two little decorations and then we are all finished. Remember the little buttons that we used in the first project with the kitty cat? We're gonna use those again to press through the center of the flower and then through the little hole on the handbag. Aww. Okay guys, that's it for our so cool video, but there are tons and tons of patterns left and project ideas and lots of fabrics. So if you would like to see another video of this, you can leave me a comment or you can let me know by clicking on the thumbs up button. Okay? And I'd love to hear what your favorite thing was from today's video. Mine was the kitty cat. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC, DC. We do toy reviews. DC, DC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>